This is uh, the Carlson system. Uh, this is our silver edition, a nice door pinner. You see you've got the lights there, the uh, adjustable, but this was part of their solid wood door line. And once again, this machine was not used very much. This is the back side of the Carlson system, but you can see what kind of shape this, this piece of equipment is in. It, it's, it's a real nice piece of equipment. I don't know if you can see that uh, this roller conveyor on top of a lift table. Here we've got a double end trim. This is a Shermer. This is a Shermer double end uh, double end saw so you can change your saws, your angles, and this, that, and the other. It looks to me like this is a probably a 10 foot capacity. And they've installed more calibration devices and that sort of a thing. This is the back side of a rotary shaper. So this Rye machine, it's another one that uh, I don't know if it was new or reconditioned, but it, it received very little use at Berg. We've got a little line bore machine here. And right over beside it, we have a single spindle shaper with the power feed. The spindle on this can be up or flat or anywhere in between. So you can tip the spindle on this particular machine. This is a Marine Johnson gang rip. Uh, it was part of the solid wood line. It's uh, also, it's just a marine, it, it's a nice, it's a model 312. It's a real workhorse, I think it's a 50 horsepower motor on it. This is just a little glue pump here. And we've got some lift tables here. Some more uh, uh, motorized roach tables. This is a, a Baxter Whitney two spindle shaper. A real nice machine. We've got a number of these lift tables here. I think they're 1,500 pound capacity. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we have a number of them. Here are a few more. This is a unique uh, two spindle shaper. It's really a nice shaper for uh, your rail and cope. Miscellaneous uh, bus bar disconnects. Another uh, two bag dust system. We've got a Ritter clamp table. This is uh, another Italian machine. I'm going to say it's an Om Gal or something like that. But anyway, this first part here is the infeed part, part of the stock feeder. And it normally is set up down here and then go into here. But I'm not familiar with this piece. You'll have to tell me what it is. More roach conveyors. We've got, we have three of these whirlwind cutoff saws. Uh, we palletize them. They all have in feed and out feed tables. And then they also have the uh, different things where you can set your stops. But there's uh, three whirlwinds. They're all in real good shape.
Not much use on them at all. This is a miscellaneous bus bar. This is a larger lift table. We've got a few of these larger lift tables. Miscellaneous work tables, little delta grinder. This is actually a slitter to go ahead and cut your rolls of paper or laminate into uh, whatever size strips that you want. This is a nice uh, Altendorf panel saw. A real nice piece of equipment. This is just a little miscellaneous homemade chop saw. We've got more roach conveyor tables. I don't know if you can see these tables here. They just slide stock from one side to the other. Over here, it's a little bit hard to see, but this is a Ronda Mat 934 Profile Sharpener. A face grinder. A two spindle shaper. Another dual spindle shaper. A sand blaster. Face grinder. This is another little weighing machine. I think with the, uh, it says CMA system. Here we have a Vorwood edge foiler. It's a real nice machine. This is another dual saw trim machine. Set up your calibration and that sort of a thing. Put whatever angle you want on, on these two saws here and then go ahead and trim them. Got your hold downs and all that sort of a thing. I want to say that this is some type of a labeler here. Here we've got another little grinder. Here we've got uh, another little table saw. And then here I've got uh, an arrow dryer. This is a Ronda Mat 934 profile grinder. I know you can't see in here, but these are eight foot calipers. And these were set up beside each one of their uh, double end tendoners. More miscellaneous tables.